the first word that comes to mind is simple, uh, that the versification is simple and straightforward, that it depends heavily, though not exclusively, on rhyme, that the poems are all rather short, that there's no, nothing like a sonnet sequence or a narrative poem, uh, that it's basically short lyrics. Uh, the topics tend to be, well, I've written about this, nature poems, um, poems of loss. That was where her work began. She was apparently encouraged by the critic Schindiger uh, to publish initially. Um, but that was after the loss of her son, uh, who died at the age of 10. We still don't know quite from what. Um, so it's a, it's a simple, straightforward style, and frequently, to me at least, seems unsatisfying for that reason. I look for more complexity um, and for different kinds of depth. But it's marked throughout by very strong sincerity uh, and by occasional, really plangent, moments of uh, powerful feeling um, that um, can't be gainsaid, that can't be shrugged off, and really strike, strike very hard. Um, so it's nature poetry, children's poetry, poetry of suffering, poetry of sorrow, um, a lot of uh, sort of class conscious poetry also. She's known as sort of the communitarian proletariat writer, and maybe you could say a little bit about what that means. Well, I said a great deal about what the communitarian writer means. I don't have to uh, go over that ground again. Uh, but um, she it was a time when, uh, as I think I wrote every every healthy person had his or her heart on the left side uh, when it was normal to be a communist and abnormal to be anything less than a socialist. Um, and this was just part of the atmosphere and part of the way things were understood. The, uh, the profounder meaning of Stalinism took a long time to percolate through that community and didn't really reach me completely until the 1950s. I still didn't understand how terrible it had been. Um, even though my mother's friends, so many of them, had, uh, had been murdered by Stalin. Uh, 